Is your web developer using black hat tactics on your website that can backfire? Which can put you in a very embarrassing position in front of your customers and ultimately get your site banned from Google? Hi, this is Roy Ryer from SEOTrainingSW.com and the Search Engine Academy. I feel one of the best ways to understand the differences between good search engine optimization techniques and poor search engine optimization techniques is to see real life example on how improper coding of a website can not only get your website de-indexed by the search engines, but how this can also put you at risk and damage your credibility and online reputation. Let me give you a real life example. In the next several screenshots of this website, I have blanked out the telephone numbers and the URL of the company in an attempt to protect the company's identity. However, you can see that this company offers home and business cleaning services, restoration services, and mold and mildew restoration. Here in the large blue box on the home page, you can see the text flood damage cleaning with a grayed out telephone number and on top of the browser you can see that the page's keyword is flood damage cleaning. But pay special attention to the URL string. Here we see the text field equals flood damage cleaning. But what would happen if we change the text field equal string to say something like I can insert anything I want to URL string and hijack this site? Well we see that the text in the blue box has changed. The text in the page's keyword field has changed, but that's not all. If we scroll down the page, we see that this text was also inserted into the page's H1 and H2 headline tags and inserted throughout the content of the page. And if we view the source code of the page, we can see that this keyword insertion was also used in the page title, the keyword tag, and the meta description tag. When keyword insertion is coded properly into a website, let's say through Google AdWords, it can be of a benefit. However, in this case, the owner of the website is taking a big risk in having his business reputation trashed. Let's say I was a competitor in this same niche, and I obtained some backlinks to this site and inserted some derogatory text or an ad for another service. Let's say, call us now about escort services in Miami. And then because of the links that the comp we, the competitor, added, this site begins ranking better than the real website's own listings in the search engines. Couldn't this become a complete nightmare for the real business owner? And here's another example of a violation of Google's Terms of Services. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom of this page, there's a hidden link called Directories. If you click on this link, it forwards to another page on the same website that's basically a link farm that's powered by Link Market. Participation in these type of black hat SEO schemes are a clear violation of Google's terms of service, which ultimately will get your website banned. Building a real business and becoming successful online is not about gaming Google and or using your customers. Using these type of black hack tactics, as you can see in this example, could backfire on you, placing you in a very embarrassing position. Being successful is all about delivering high quality, engaging content to your visitors. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider sharing it with your friends and family by pressing either the Facebook like, the Twitter, or Google Plus button on top of this page. Thank you for watching. And I wish you success with your online business. This is Roy Ryer from SEO Training SW and the Search Engine Academy. Have a great day.